Time, places, locations, different venues and stuff like that. Cause once it's once it's over, it's over. Yeah, well, why, you know, Usyk's gonna be at the fight. Did, did anyone tell you that? He's I did. I've I heard. I heard Usyk's gonna be there. Now, you know. You know. Um, and I, I, I'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing him. You know what I mean? Uh, it's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a great card overall. And uh, why not come and come and see a, a, a good show? You know what I mean? So, uh, so uh, we're gonna wrap him with open arms, and uh, I hope you take notes. With Usyk coming, does that mean it? doesn't necessarily have to be Ruiz next, and it could be Usyk. It could. It could. I mean, you know, y'all know the business of boxing. It's a business. You know what I mean? One thing can go one way, but then when they get down to to the, the business part about it, things can speed up or certain people can be skilled. That's just a part of the business, you know what I mean? And um, it, can, it can definitely go that way. After Robert, you know, uh, it can definitely be, you know, Usyk, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's just a great feeling just to be back in the mix of things and have so many different options on the table and, um, you know, and, um, but one step at a time. With Robert, though, does any part of you, you know, coming back well, after a year anxious to have taken a shot in sparring or taken a shot on fight night just to know everything there is still 100%? It's, it's, could you repeat that one more time? With, with, with the Robert Hellenius fight, is any yeah. part of you actually anxious to take a punch, you know, whether it's sparring or in the fight, just to know everything's still 100%? I mean, it's, it's not, not really anxious. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot in training. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot of sparring now and, and different things like that. So, uh, I mean, it's not my first rodeo. So, you know, I'm used to a lot of things, you know, especially at the big stage. So, it's not a really an overwhelming feeling or, or, or something that I'm anxious. I'm, I'm happy to be back. And uh, I'm gonna give 110 percent, just like I've always given. And uh, look, for, look forward to seeing everyone there, and, and the fans being on the edge of their seat when I fight. So, Deontay, so knowing you have some familiarity with with Hilarious, what do you expect from him? I expect a warrior. I mean, he's just like I. You know, you got a you got a warrior heart. And I always tell people the mind doesn't control the body; your heart controls the body. Because many times, how many times have you have you done things, ran or? Done an obstacle that got too hard for you or became too long in your mind say I gotta quit. I can't do it no more. I gotta give up. Your mind will tell you these things. Mind will even tell you you know you great, but some other people's opinion would affect how you feel about yourself and your and it affect your work. But with your heart, your walk will tell you you're a doubt for this. You know, your heart will tell you you can't stop now. You got people that depend on you. You got children. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta feed. You know what I mean? So the mind doesn't run the mind, the body. It's the heart. That's why I always tell people follow your heart. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. After your second fight with Tyson Fury, uh, you said that he cheated. Do you still feel that way? I, I, after the second fight? I go with it to, the, to, to my brain. And can you be more specific? What do you I, I've cheat? said enough on that, you know what I mean? And, I, okay. and, and what I've said, I'm at peace with. And I'm happy, so uh, you know, uh, I go to my grave for what I know was to be, and uh, we're gonna keep it as that. Which which trilogy do you think was was greater for the sport, you and uh, Tyson or, or Canelo Golovkin over the weekend? Uh, it's always gonna be the heavyweights. You know what I mean? The, the saying is, uh, once the heavyweight dies, so does boxing. I believe it. Coming off the beach, uh, reality, uh, against Tyson Fury. What will it mean to you to become a two-time champion of the world? I mean, that means a lot. I mean, that's what I'm. That's what I'm here for. Part of the reason that I'm here for. You know, uh, also, you know, to to see what type of hardware you can come, you know, you can gain along the way. You know, what I mean, becoming champion, all the other belts I never had. So it'll, it'll be good to to hold the, the rest uh, of the belts as well. To, uh, to, to be a role model, to to motivate, to inspire. A lot of people love to see uh, uh, how you get back up and do things. You know, people get tired of seeing the winner all the time. So they want to see how the how do you get back up? Because in life, what we live in, most majority of the time, things are not peaches and cream for us, and we have to build our way up in in, in a cruel world to get to the top. And it's, it's 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 never easy getting to the top. You know what I mean? So people don't know what it feels like to get to the top. You know, some people will work their ass out every day and never reach the top. You know what I mean? That's just the way the world is. It's, we have to deal with the card that's been dealt to us. I would say. But uh, once you reach that and you've obtained it and you you felt that and you still you 
made uh, adjustments in your life and you've invested your money well to the point you don't even need the business no more. It's a great feeling. So anything that I get from this stage of, of this reign moving forward, it's a plus for me.